There are seven basic notions in art that anyone should know, or at least learn about it in order to get a better grasp on making art. And they're called elements of art. In previous videos, we talked about color and value, so that's two out of seven. In a very random order, let's learn about two more, shape and form. And before you start to lose interest, I know that all you want is to draw better and faster, but disregard the basics and it will be too late when you stare with frustration at your art, wondering what in the world is even wrong with it. So what are shape and form? Well, let's find out. Probably the most overlooked and disregarded elements of art to say the least. But you're watching this, so not anymore, right? And before you start to panic, this is not a math class and you won't need any calculator. However, I promise nothing when it comes to using a compass. Let's be short and precise. Shape is a flat, limited two-dimensional space surrounded by an outline, while form is just a three-dimensional shape. Any kind of shape has a height and a width. In other words, form is any kind of shape combined with depth. Take for example a square, add depth and you get a cubic form. Following this logic, a circle becomes a sphere, a triangle becomes a pyramid or a cone, and a rectangle can become a cylinder. There are two types of shapes and forms, geometrical and organic. Geometrical shapes and forms are precise, mathematical, regular, and often found in human-made things like cars, buildings, or computers. The previous examples are all geometrical, while organic shapes or forms, also called biomorphic or freeform, don't have specific names and make up for everything else. People, animals, trees, clouds, and weird fishes in the ocean. You get the idea. These two categories may seem independent from one another, but we can actually build any organic shape using the geometrical ones. It's part of the simplification of whatever is organic, which is most obviously demonstrated by the cubism movement. Well, pretty enlightening, but you might be asking yourself, what would be the purpose of learning this? The answer in three words is simplification, character design, and perspective. Let's start with the most important one. Simplification is the process of breaking down any kind of structure, usually organic, into basic simple geometrical shapes and forms in order to make the recreation or even modification of said structure quicker and easier. You can draw anything, and I mean anything using simple shapes and forms, and then slowly add details to them to create your masterpiece. Let's look at an example. Drawing a human head might sound tedious if you're not used to breaking down everything around you into simple shapes and forms, but if you do, you'll know that it's a simple circle combined with a small triangle. Any face drawing technique you'll ever learn out there will have you draw a circle first, and they would be right actually. The torso? Either a rectangle or a triangle, depending on what body type you chose to draw. A bunch of trees, for example? Well, try rectangles and circles. It's hard to even begin to draw anything without visioning its basic forms. Whenever you don't, your chances of misunderstanding the structure of what you're drawing and messing up the final result only grows higher. How about the second point? The design of characters, whether it is for animation or video games or anything else, is usually based on their personality. Villains, for example, are usually made of triangles, all in sharp angles and thinner lines to convey their bad intentions and evil, sly personalities. Childish, friendly, and more approachable characters are usually based on circles to reflect their good, innocent, and positive demeanor. Grouchy and stubborn characters are all squares and rectangles. Character designers try to create interesting characters by using a method called shape language, which is, according to Google, an attempt to convey meaning based on shapes we are familiar with. In other words, it's a way to express who a character is using his appearance, and the best way to do that is by starting with basic geometrical shapes, and then turning them into organic, human, or animal-like characters. The last point would be perspective. Perspective is much more related to forms because of their three-dimensional state. However, we prefer to dedicate a whole separate video for it, to make this lesson lighter and less information cramped. Stay tuned!
As a conclusion, shapes and forms are usually a simple concept to understand, but nonetheless important. I'll even argue that it's a key element to start any kind of artwork, so thank you so much for stopping by and learn about them. We hope that this video completed one of the missing puzzle pieces in your process of learning art. Let us know in the comments about your artwork creation process. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell to get notifications on our latest videos. With that being said, thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.